regular viewers will know that I love the soprano scale ukulele the most, so it becomes no surprise that I'm always interested to look at instruments that go smaller. Keep watching. Yeah, good day, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day. This is the summary video review. If you see the link below the video, that will take you to the website where you'll see more pictures, more detail, scores, that kind of thing. Um, thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. These are the people who've donated in the last week to help keep Got A Ukulele going, or just to say thank you, um, because without those people, I just really couldn't do this. Um, and if you like what you see on the YouTube channel, why not think about subscribing? You know what to do, the button is down there, and if you hit the bell symbol, you'll get notified about new stuff that comes your way. Yeah, instruments smaller than soprano. Soprano is my favorite scale, but I'm always interested in ones that go smaller. Um, and they come with names like mini, nano, sopranino, sopranissimo. They all basically mean the same thing. It's a shorter scale um, than a soprano. And this is one of those. And it's from a brand that I've reviewed many times before, uh, a real household name brand. This is the Ohana TPK 25G short scale sopranino um, and it is a smaller than soprano instrument uh, by a couple of inches and it is in the pineapple shape which is something else I I'm really am a fan of particularly on small instruments the pineapple loses the waist on a double that a double bout has and what I find that does is it it brings out the mids, uh, it basically rounds the sound off a little bit more, makes it sound a bit fuller, which when you go smaller with an instrument is a real positive. This is made of all solid mahogany, uh, and as you can see, it's really nice grain. Sorry about the fingerprints, because we'll come on to why it's glossy. Um, it is single piece on the uh, sides. I think it's two pieces on the back and the top, all solid mahogany, lovely warm, rich grain to it, orangey brown color. It's really attractive instrument. A lot of Ohana instruments uh, come out in satin and they put binding on and stuff like that. There's no binding here, but I think this looks better for it. Uh, I think that gloss works really well just left alone. The bridge is a slot style and they don't specify the wood, they just call it hardwood, so it could be oven coal. I suspect it isn't um, rosewood. If it was, they'd say so. The It's very tidy and the uh, saddle there is straight topped and is made of bone. As I say, no other decoration. Really nicely finished in the body by the fingerprints, that's my fault. Inside, notched kerfing, uh, really thin little braces, very tidy, and a pretty thin top as well. Really good down here, like this. Up to the neck, I believe that's mahogany too, and rather irritatingly, it's a completely different colour. I hate it when the instrument makers do this. Why don't you make it the same colour as the body? Please, maybe it's deliberate, I don't know. Um, three pieces, the joints are pretty well hidden. There's one at the heel and there's one at the headstock, and it tapers off to a pretty round, chunky profile up here, which I'm not a fan of, and I'm also not a fan of the 33 mil nut width. Now the Onino by Ohana has the same nut width and it's kind of playable, but I really don't like it when people make soprano, sopranino instruments, sub-sopranos, shrink everything down and shrink the nut as well because it doesn't need to be like that. This is the Mini Pineapple by Dave Morgan, which is the small scale soprano I think all others should be judged by. 35 mil nut, really nice flat back profile. 35, really comfortable that. This isn't gonna be as comfortable for me. Now I mentioned that in all my reviews, your mileage may vary, it depends on the size of your hands, your dexterity, that kind of thing. I prefer them uh, wider. The fingerboard is more of the this hardwood. Um, it's in really good condition, uh, glossy condition in fact. It's very nice, 12 standard frets to the body, no sharp edges because the edges are bound in darker wood. Uh, pearly dots facing out at 5, 7 and 10 and we have dots on the side as well. Sorry about all the reflections. Beyond the bone nut, up to the top, this is probably the main event that people talk about, this pineapple spiky topped headstock, um, the Bart Simpson look. It's faced in mahogany and you can really see the difference in the colour of those woods um, when you see the facing. Um, very tidily done, the Ohana logo is a pearl decal underneath the gloss. Um, some people don't like this. I do. I think it's quirky. I think it fits with the pineapple thing. What I don't like about it is the same as on the Onino. The headstock's too big for a small instrument like this. It's just far too big. It's basically a soprano um, headstock. Look at the headstock on the Dave Morgan. Much more in keeping with the small body. 
because it's a lot smaller. It's too big. Uh, I, this is subjective, totally. All right, let's move on. Uh, pleasing in some ways to look at these tuners. These are Grover, not high-end Grover, but Grover all the same, which is a mark of quality, Grover gears with black buttons. My gripe, these should be, we should have rear-facing friction pegs on a tiny little instrument like that. I always want them on a soprano. I think they're better for balance. Um, they're lighter weight. They don't look like big sticky out ears on a small instrument. It makes this look ugly. Um, they can add weight, as I say, um, but they also give you more uh, hand room up here, I find. Um, oh, look, friction pegs. Just a far better look on a small instrument. Again, subjective. They are Grovers, though, so they're fairly decent quality. Uh, it comes with the Quila strings. Um, nothing else comes with it, which I think is a bit of a shame because this is an unusual shape, or more unusual shape, and unusual scale. Um, Ohana do make a gig bag for their smaller instruments, but they don't give you it with the price, um, which I think is a mistake. I think this, because it's an unusual instrument, I think it should come with their bag as part of the package. Um, but anyway, the price is £160 on the high street, which isn't too bad, I don't think. I think it's a very good price, in fact, for all solid wood. As I say, the build, largely very good. The gloss is good. There's a bit of pooling around here. The fingerboard's in good shape. I don't like the nut width, don't like the neck profile. I think the headstock's too big, and I don't want the ears. But otherwise, it's all pretty tip-top. Um, it's very light. It's only 360 grams, but it's neck heavy. <laughs> what did I say about the headstock? What did I say about the tuners? It's off balance. And considering this is such a small instrument, I can't see people using a, a, a strap with this. That, that's, a, that's a problem. It should be balanced there. Uh, all down to this. There we are. All right, so it's largely positives, uh, mostly positives, in fact, and I'm, all the negatives I'm mentioning, and that's not a subjective one, that, that's an objective negative, but everything else is subjective. Um, and I really do rather like the look of it. Let's have a play. Now, this gets more complicated as well, because this is strung and will take GCEA tuning. In fact, that's how it arrived with me. Um, but it sounded awful. The strings are too loose. It sounded flabby, echoey. Um, the volume of projection just not there. So this review, I am tuning to detuning. A, D, F sharp, B. Now I mention that because a lot of people are afraid of using alternative tunings, but in this tuning, I think it works really well because the volume is, whoa, really good. The sustain goes on. Don't like the nut. tune it down to C so you can have it here so G C E A standard tuning ADF sharp B incidentally is a standard soprano tuning and I also found when tuning it in C there were some intonation issues as well and that's quite common with small instruments they can be quite finicky about their tuning. Sorry, this is boring, I know. The intonation's certainly different. It's all 
a bit more muddy. And the intonation. So, um, I would never have this in C tuning. I don't think it works very well in C tuning. In D tuning, I think it sounds great, actually. I think it sounds really peppy, sharp, bright. The mids are coming uh, broadened out with this. It's a more rounded tone in C tuning. It's echoey. The string tension is really, really, really flabby. Look, I just wouldn't want to play that. Um, don't be afraid of alternate relative tunings. It's, with a circle of fifths in front of you, it's only a case of being able to count to work out what, how the notes change. Very, very easy to do. It's only a couple of, oh, well, it's a whole step away, isn't it? It's, it's nothing, really. Um, I think it works really well in D. Um, so, it's not really a mixed review. It gets a good score. It doesn't get a score as good as the Dave Morgan, um, but then I didn't expect it to. But I like it more than the O Nino. Um, because I like this body better, I like the gloss. Uh, I think this is quirky, I think this is too big. It's it's neck heavy because of that headstock and those tuners, and I think that's a real shame. But, come on, it's um, it sounds really good in D. It's a really well-made little instrument, um, and it's a lot of fun. The Ohana TPK25G Short Scale Sopranino um, from Ohana Instruments. Um, yeah. It's a nice little thing, I think. Um, just be aware of that tuning. Um, but, you know, experiment, have fun. It's fun to play in a different tuning. Right, thank you very much for watching. That was a fun one to, to review, um, and I really did like it, actually. Uh, I am back next week, I think, and then I think I've got a holiday coming, so I'll, there's something next week, definitely. I don't know what it is. Um, do take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.